welcome to RLCS Qualifiers for Central Michigan University. This is game one. We are 40 seconds in. CMU has already taken the lead. Uh, today I have JLAP here commentating alongside me. How are you doing, JLAP? Good, good. Happy to be here. Hopefully, Washington Central gets some dubs today in the qualifiers. Yes, sir. No, that, that one goal that I saw um, definitely seemed like a kind of free i'm not sure exactly what happened but i'm hoping that trend will continue yeah it looked like beware was kind of just playing around there uh easy goal for cmu to start the game keeping up pressure well here we got beware up trying to find someone midfield but no one there to follow bane downfield icy there to clean it up it's a card now we'll hit it straight back to the cmu side trio now pinching it off icy trio one-on-one -on -one with deluxe but deluxe does win it and Icy stopping the ball midfield here, going to the corner. Beware is looking for a possible shot, just gonna let him clear it over to the left side. Balling it up in the corner still. Seems like CMU has all the pressure here. That's definitely Trio now, 50 in the corner, turning for a bump. Deluxe will take this instant challenge from Beware. Icy now, free shot, but it's off target. Trio here, playing it slow. Fakes out one guy, looking for a flick here. Over another, cold and icy there to follow it up. Another easy goal it seemed like for Central there. Definitely, uh, seems like a little bit of toxicity coming out from both teams here, but it's a great start from CMU, 2-0 up with three minutes, 17 seconds left. Yeah, and the what a save, I did not see that coming. <laughs> um, and we got kickoff here, Trio's gonna take it. Oh, and it looks like possibly over the head, but Icy's there, beware, looking to go downfield here. Going for a breezy, but he, oh, and the pogo after. Yeah, it just tr seems like he was trying everything there. Now dribbling it. Goes past two. Deluxe will now pick it up. Icy now gets bumped. Trio, free shot, but puts it off target. Deluxe now will pick this one up. Bit of awkwardness in the corner. Don't think they know which one's going to go. Beware's up here. Trying to get this midfield, it looks like. Uh, Z car. Looking like he's struggling a little bit with this <laughs> ball here, but he, he picks it up. Cold and icy with the 50 there. Looks like Z-Car going to take it back to the corner. Trio keeping the pressure on. Beware putting it off the backboard. And Z-Car flipping into it. Yeah, a lot of awkwardness from this uh, Wisconsin Cheat Clappers is the name of the team we're playing. Definitely interesting there. Beware now doubles it off the sidewall to nobody. Icy now hits it up into the air. Trio will follow this up into the blue half. And Deluxe passing it right to Beware there again. Another simple goal looks like for the Chippewas here. Uh, not sure if there's a little confusion here, but Deluxe looks like he passed it right over his teammate and Beware there to finish it up. Yeah, great, great game here from Central. Uh, now off the kickoff, we'll see what kind of tactics from Central. Seems like a normal kickoff. Icy now trying, going for the win instead of the, the lose on the kickoff. Beware now with the fake over one, over two, but Z-Car easily clears that away. Yeah, and Trio is up there just kind of trying to predict a whiff, it looked like. Uh, Z Car putting it mid for his team. One of the. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Throwing it off backboard. Beware gets a little touch there over the corner, and Trio's going to follow it up the field. Cold and icy. Looking to put it off backboard here. It's off corner. Open net for Trio, and he puts it in. Z Car looks like he missed that. See, uh, Icy hits it straight off to the corner, puts it awkward for them, and. Yeah, Deluxe just can't read that quick enough, and that's 4 for the Chippewas. Yeah, Deluxe looked like he had an awkward ball there off the corner. Um, yeah, and Beware's going to put it mid again. Looks like a wide open net, and Trio able to easily solidify that. No no worry there. This is look, looking like an easy game one for Central. Uh, very, very fast. They're playing very fast, very together. A couple double commits on in defense but other than that it's been a perfect game yeah and beware taking the kick off icy looks like he's getting challenged fast by deluxe trio missing the ball beware putting an awkward spot here balls up in the air but again central michigan's all over it off the wall with the flip reset and pops it up deluxe trying to make a play but he looks a little awkward there uh, icy now hits it off to the corner free clear for one of the players but he Completely misses it. Beware now is in the corner. 50s it off the wall. Deluxe now hits it off the wall to Z car. Passes it over to one of them geese, who then misses the shot. Free ball here for Trio. Flicks it high into the corner. 
trio. Gonna keep going with it. Looks like Beware's gonna pick it up, trying to find Icy in the mid. A little 50 there. One of them, Geese, taking control of it, looking for a 50 here. Gets a good one up to the corner, but Trio's gonna clear it out. Cold and Icy looking for the redirect. Oh, it's just gonna go off backboard and uh, nice backboard defense there by the Wisconsin uh, Clappers. <laughs> good pass there from Beware. Pitches it off the corner for free and another open net for Central where Icy cannot put that in. 6 0 for the Chippewas, 35 seconds left. Yeah, again, just another awkward ball looked like for all three of them. Uh, here we go with Trio on the kickoff. Going to lose it back to Cold and Icy, oh. but a big whiff. Let's see if they can slot one here. Look at that. Oh, There's one of them, there Geese. There's the what a save when you are losing by five goals. That is what I like to call the champ special right there. That is what you do if you are in champ, ladies and gentlemen. So if you ever get there, make sure you do that. Now kickoff here. Central up 6-1, just looking to close this game out, getting, getting us to game two. Cold and icy up. It looks like Beware is going to try to steal it for the reset. Nothing happening there. Trio off backboard. Beware looking for the redirect, and that would have been clean, but unable to connect there. Cold and icy's got a lot of time here. Let's see if he does something a little fancy. Flip reset from Cold and icy, then controls it, but that's saved by one of them geese who pulls out the nice shot. Clear out by Z-Car, but that's cut off by Trio. Beware up, but whiffs it. Zcar puts it down, and that is six to one. First game for Central. One more to go to finish out the series. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of GGs being dropped by Cold and Icy there. He wasn't taking too kindly to the what a save on the whiff. It looked like. Definitely, um, I see you out here with 15 shots to Wisconsin Cheat Clappers three. Um, Looks, I think CMU, this game, will look to not give up any goals. They're not going to want any of these quick chats coming out. And I wouldn't be surprised to see some quick chats response for CMU's <laughs> next next goal. Definitely. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised to see Cold and Icy end this next game with about eight demos here. So yeah. we'll see. We'll see what <laughs> prevails here. But... All right, going into game two here. 6-1, the first game score. This is a best of three, so if Central wins this game, the series will be over. And we have Deluxe versus B. We're on the kickoff trio with a possible ball mid, but Z car is there to stop it. Colton Icy with a wide open net and unable mm -hmm. to find it, but Trio's here. Back to Icy. Oh, off the backboard. Good defense by uh, Wisconsin there. I see now tries to shoot, but Z Cry saves it immediately. Beware looking for Trio who pre jumps him. I see now will get this free ball, free shot for him. Goes for the double, but that's great defense from Z Car. Yeah, he's looking for the double tap there. Good backboard defense there. Beware with able to get the dunk there. Trio's no boost, a little awkward, so Icy's going to call him off. And again, just a couple whiffs in the midfield, it looks like here, leaving an open net. Unable to find it though. Trio looking for a center ball. Cold Icy with the redirect and it finds the back of the net there. Great uh, pass there from Trio, recognizing that there's so much space because there's two players pushing him. So just passes it straight to the middle. Great shot there from Icy, 1 0. Yeah, and Icy able to kind of keep his ground there and just kind of be aware there of the shot or the pass coming into him. Pickoff here. Goes to the side of Central Michigan. Deluxe now tries to hit it. Almost gets a. Uh, Lucky double tap there. Trio now off the ceiling, open net, but hits it off the crossbar. Almost had the pre-jump off the ceiling there. Beware's gonna try to find a midfield pass here or just slot it, but Z car is there to end the day. And now we got Deluxe booming it upfield. Trio able to stop it. Deluxe trying to find someone mid, but no one's there. Um, Geez is already headed back, it looks like. I see now, hits it to the sidewall, back to himself with there from Geez. I see now 50s with Deluxe, but now it's over to Beware. Passes it to the midfield right to a Wisconsin player, but then it is cleared out to Icy, who's going for a freestyle attempt here. Tries to 50, that might go in, but it is saved by Zcar. Yeah, it looks like he's maybe going for a reset there, but caught only two of the tires, sadly. Uh, Gee's going to take control, easily taken care of though by Trio. Looking for someone in the midfield here. Beware and Icy both wanting the goal, it looked like there. Icy taking possession, he's gonna flick one. Not able to follow it up though. Yeah, it's definitely looking like CMU realizes the skill gap here, but 
they got to be careful, but that is an open net. 2-0. What I was going to say is that CMU has to look out for these overcommits because even though the skill gap is large, if you send all three players, these players are good enough to finish it off. Yeah, and it's kind of looking like maybe it's see who can get the most goals here for CMU. Everyone just seems to be committing on these nets. Yeah. Definitely. It's to see who can get the most points at the end of the day. I see now. He tries to hit it down off the backboard, but that's cleared out. One of them, Geese, tries to hit the open net. Beware. Might not get back to there, and that is in. Yeah. That's exact, exactly what we were just talking about. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we had three people upfield. One of them, Geese, able to put the first ball on net for Wisconsin there. So, you know, that can happen easily. Yeah, definitely. CMU's going to have to lock in on their rotations. Try not to get too over challenging and over committee, you know. Mm -hmm. And we got uh, Z Car taking it to the wall here. Beware, look for the challenge. Unable to get it. Ball's rolling back to Trio. I think he's just going to take possession of it, it looks like. Flicks one, but Geese is there to clean it up. Beware popping it up midfield. Icy's a little awkward. I think he's going to have to wait. So Beware's going to fall back up. Good pass to Trio there. Off the corner. Trio looking for the dunk. Able, unable to find it. Beware with a little bit of a whiff there on the shot. Yeah, it seems like CMU's trying to be a little too cute with the ball. Trying to do too much. This might be an open net for Geese, but Icy does get back to there in time. Who will have a free ball? Gets past one. Trying to pass it mid for Trio, and he is there. That is open net. 3-1 to CMU. And it, I actually thought Trio was going to get demoed here, but it looks like he was finds a way to avoid that demo and stick midfield for him there. Uh, or they just gave up on the demo attempt. Not sure. Yeah, I think one of the Wisconsin players was trying to just race back to the ball. Probably should have just actually went for the demo to stop the mid pass there but now kickoff even even kickoff here trio does cut that off geese now for the shot easy save for trio bump it, bumps coming out on each other for cmu but icy will now take control which is then met with zikar yeah beware able to get control of it taking it off the sidewall looking to get a little fancy with it again geese able to clear it down trio stops it but it's a ball open in front of the net and another double commit here but they just had to clear it out there yeah that's one of those double commits where you'll just take the ball being hit that's a whiff from deluxe there and that that should put the game away yeah and i'm surprised we're not seeing any quick tries from central i think they're just being the bigger person here kind of know the skill gap difference and just hopefully end them off here yeah i think central's just looking to pack their bags and go home from here, not worrying about these people already moving on for the, to the next games. Off the corner here, Deluxe gets one. Geez with a possible open shot here, but Beware able to get up and get the 50. And Zcar thought he had a touch there, but it looks like he just drove Pat right past it. Beware going to just try to take a 50 over here. Actually gets the clear out, cold and icy. And Beware is going to follow it up again other than the bump. Free ball here on the backboard for Beware. Got to watch out for... Passing the ball right to a Wisconsin player is what I was going to say. And that is exactly what happened. Looks like Beware is just trying to get a 50, but looks like a great challenge from Geese. Yeah, and again, uh, unlucky 50 there, but it looks like kind of playing with your food there. Again, Beware is just trying to get a little fancy off the back wall, get something going. Yeah. Deluxe with the pre jump off the sidewall there. Unable to connect. Deluxe again trying to follow it, but it's CMU's just keeping this pressure hot right now. Yeah, a lot of space here for a Wisconsin player if they can get there, but Beware will be there to cut it off. Trying to get a 50 off Geese, but cannot. Trio off then fake challenges. Great bump by Beware. It might be a open net, but Trio tries to go for the fake, but that's saved by Deluxe. And I know, I know we kind of saved Trio uh, a little bit last week, but I almost think that was maybe another open net that we missed by Trio. Uh, but not, not going to be too harsh on him. Yeah, I think it's it's another one of those things just to be in too cute with the ball. Just hit hit the ball in the net like you know you can. And just trying to get the best clip possible he can today. Here we go. Trio's going to get the ball. We'll see what he goes for. Just there, a simple there, goal. There, yeah. I think he heard us. I think he heard I, us. I think, he's, I think he has a stream up because that's exactly what we should have done before. Just, just shoot the ball. It's open. Yeah, and that's 5-2 for CMU here. Should be wraps unless a miracle happens. All right, off the kickoff here, 20 seconds left. This game is most more, most likely over. Trio now just trying to kill time. Z-Car hits it back into the corner. Icy now trying to pass it over to Beware, looking for the bump, but cleared out by Z-Car. 
trio looking for another just simplistic shot they're trying to slot one and rub it in our face it looks like beware with another reset off the wall trying to keep it up it looks like central is but it's gonna fall and we will be headed to the next round that was a dominating performance for cmu uh six one and five two very dominating but with the skill gap between these players i think it was expected yeah, and that again, very, very convincing win there for Central Michigan. Uh, skill gap was a little high, but I'm still proud that you know they they kept it together. They they played very well when they needed to. When they got the lead, they got a little cute, but other than that, they played pretty solid. Yes, definitely. I think the speed of CMU definitely uh, took over the game. So as I'm looking at the scoreboard now, we are going to be playing a team called Sea Kings Blue. Um, I do not know. I was hoping I would know a player on there, but at the moment I do not. Um, so we are going to kick it to a break for a minute and we'll be back once the game starts.
Uh, welcome back to uh, round two of the RLCS qualifiers with CMU. Uh, we are about to head into the game here, but uh, apparently Mega says no spectator. Uh, that is not in the rule book, sir, so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure the ruling on this one. Um, uh, we, we haven't had any issues yet with this. Uh, I know f definitely for sure that that it, it is it is allowed because I've watched other watch parties. Uh, I know for a fact that Rizzo is streaming his watch party right or spectators in his game. So it is definitely allowed within the rules. Um, I'm not sure uh that what we could waffle about right now um and they said two seconds or uh, something i don't know if that was uh i think he's, they needed two seconds or if it was a threat that if we're not gone in two yeah. seconds they're gonna i mean I, I think he's just a bit of a liar two seconds it's already been about 20 so <laughs> i wouldn't really trust whatever this guy says definitely a weird situation that i've i've, I've never had a problem with that before so okay jlap uh i'm gonna ask you a question here to try and fill the time uh what do you think cmu needs to do to win this game um i think i think just playing well and keeping comms up around each other uh you have a lot of talent coming from beware right now uh obviously he's kind of new to the roster so there's a little bit of double committing in certain spots or not trusting each other but a lot of fast players between trio icy and beware out there so i think if they can calm well they should do fine that's definitely um i've been watching their scrims and it just seemed like just seemed like uh uh, Icy and Trio were still trying to get used to the speed of play that Beware you plays with because I know definitely me as the other third for this team, I'm not as fast as him, so. I'm not sure. I am not sure why this team is having such a big problem with this. Uh, in my opinion, I don't think it is a big deal at all. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Well, it looks like this one will not be streamed. Interesting. Uh, this is uh definitely something I've I've never seen before. Um. <laughs> it I Whoa. it's definitely interesting. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about it, to be honest. I've never seen someone refuse a broadcast for no reason. Yeah, and I, I'm not quite sure. Again, we, we didn't recognize the names on there. I don't think, <clears throat> again, they're crazy high skill level. We're like, and it's. I'm shocked that they know the rules that well to get us out. So, I mean, I, I, but it is what I it mean, is, I guess. No, well, I don't understand what the big problem is. Um, I guess... What we can do is, uh, we can, ladies and gentlemen, watch the Rocket League party screen private match score. How do you, what do you think about that, JLab? Should we? Uh, that's that sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. <laughs> it's definitely hard to commentate over a game that you cannot watch, so we will do our best. Um, I guess we can just talk more about the situation i'm not sure exactly what more we have to say um i don't know which yeah. I, I don't know if they have a lawyer reading through the like the 20 page rule book but yeah they they were able to pull that up real quickly too saying you know and they were looking through it fast or maybe they know someone that's part of the running it and ask them real quickly but it looks like Stenchel is going to go down 0-1 early with four minutes remaining. Um, hopefully they can pull it back here. 
Uh, and there's the second goal for, uh, what was their team name? It was C TSK. I don't know what it stood for, but. Interesting. I'm not sure, but. O2 down early in the game. Um, obviously, I would I would love to see if it if it is a uh, if they are like a full team of SSLs or if it was just CMU's mistake going off that, so I can get a better look at the series. Uh, hoping that CMU can bounce right back here. Yeah, um, yeah, not a great start. It seemed like they scored very fast. Maybe a kickoff goal off that second goal they got uh not quite sure but a lot of time still in the game for him to come back and it is a best of two or best of three series so i mean they should be able to maybe figure him out in game two if this game does not go well that's definitely um almost three minutes left still down 0-2 still looking for a goal um i guess maybe next time if we're gonna join into a game i may have to be the only one going in there but i don't know how many other teams know the rules that well and if they have that big of a problem with it yeah i think from here on out we should be fine i mean that's kind of a weird thing that they know the rule that well and also i think a lot of people would not care if they're on a stream so yeah, i think maybe definitely maybe just a little rule followers are a little you know some salty about something that happened earlier or something so yeah they may have had a problem earlier uh still 0-2 down with two minutes 30 seconds left uh doesn't look like uh the other team's running away with it so far but i do not know the shot tally or anything so oh and there's the goal for cmu one to two uh just one goal back with two minutes 14 seconds remaining yeah i mean that's still again a lot of time two minutes to get another goal it looks like maybe they kind of figured something out maybe they're caught a little off guard to start the game but um hopefully they can pull it back here yeah definitely two minutes is a lot of time especially only down one goal you have the whole game to work with uh keep it clean in the defensive end but as i say that of course uh, the other team does find an, another goal it is a two goal lead for the other team with two minutes left but still plenty of time to come back yeah, and another goal that comes within 30 seconds of the first goal that scored. So, I mean, I wonder if it's a kickoff problem or something there. Obviously, we can't see, but very fast goals uh, coming off a goal beforehand two, two times now. Yes, definitely. Uh, probably about a minute 30 left in the game. Still looking at a 1-3 score. Uh, Going to need a goal back soon if we have any chance. Um. I am currently looking through the rule book to see if they're actually being truthful because I do not remember hearing about a rule like that. Uh, let me see if I can find someone. Yeah, well, Baku's looking for that. We'll just keep giving updates on how the game is looking right now. 115 remaining, down 1 3 still. Um,. Hopefully it changes around for them. Down to a minute here now. Um, and again, it is a best of three series. So dropping game one, although it's not great, isn't the end all be all for CMU here. A lot of times first game is kind of just feeling out your opponent and seeing what they like to do and what their tendencies are. So hopefully they can pick up on some of these if we're not able to get two goals here. Um, As I'm, it looks like they are correct about the rules unfortunately i uh, i was not aware of this and it was i probably should have been because i feel like it was my job to do this but uh teams may submit a special request for a single team stream observer to be authorized to join and filling out a broadcast application and receiving an observer authorization a minimum of 24 hours before the applicable tournament day so, unfortunately, that is the rules. Uh, so, we may not be able to stream another game with this, but we will be here watching it from the party screen, just like <laughs> professionals are meant to. Because we are 
experts. Uh, one three down still. Looking like this game is going to go to the other team. Uh, doesn't look like uh, the other team ran away with it. So maybe it was CMU's mistakes. A couple, maybe a kickoff goal and maybe a couple double commits. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. Yeah, and minus that first goal, or minus the first two goals at the start, it was like a 1-1 game. So easily could have just got caught off guard to start the game. You know, they did just face a team that was not the highest caliber. So trying to switch out that mindset of like the freestyle, do whatever you want into a very serious game can be a tough transition. So hopefully they got a little taste of some actual competition there and can bounce back here in games two and three. Yeah, it's definitely trying to get back up to speed with uh speed of play that high higher players play with it looks like game two has been already off four minutes 30 in and again down 01 very early it's like another another early goal for the other team, uh, CMU's going to be looking to bounce back pretty quickly here. Yeah, and hopefully they can figure out something quick here because, again, you don't want to catch yourself down early and then feel like you're fighting for goals and being more aggressive than you have to be the rest of the game. So it's always nice to just keep playing your play style, and if you can keep it close or even tie it up here, you know, you don't have to get out of your comfort zone. Still looking at a uh, one goal deficit here, trying to bounce back. Uh, four minutes left, still a lot of time. Down to 352 and it looks like another goal. And again, I, that's down 0-2 in the first minute, a little over a minute this game, but still not, not a great way to start games. looking for the rules uh, it's a very scuffed broadcast here I know but yep looks like you needed to sign up beforehand unfortunately um, we'll get that fixed uh, hopefully for next uh, split uh, open qualifier one of the summer uh, if CMU decides to place, uh, looks like it's 0 and 3 now. Three minutes, 25 seconds left. Uh, not looking good. Looking, looking like a sweep for the other team at the moment. Yeah, and Central's really going to need to start playing a little bit more aggressive here at the three minute mark. They got three goals to make up. That's about a goal a minute here. So hopefully they can find a way to pull it off. 0 3, not impossible to come back from though. Still three minutes left, a lot of time. Um, not sure, uh, two minutes 45 now. I'm not sure exactly what to, what we can talk about here at the moment. I'm trying to think of something, but nothing's really working. Like we got 2.30 remaining still. Nothing on the board yet for Central. Hopefully we can see a goal pop up here soon. Yeah, just hoping for any life in the CMU offense. Trying to get anything anything working. Doesn't seem like anything can go in right now. Two minutes left now. Going to need a goal here soon to have any chance of staying in the series. Yeah, and I'm guessing right now TSK is probably playing a little bit more passive, kind of just playing more on the defensive end, knowing they got that three-goal lead. So it is going to be tough to score against a good team here. Yes, definitely. They definitely seem like they have done this before, and the other two qualifiers, if they knew, knew the rules that well. Again, I apologize for the lack of uh, games right now. Uh, I was un unaware of the rules so this is what we are dealing with 
One minute down 15. to a minute 30 yeah. minute 15 actually still 03 looking pretty bleak for central michigan here yeah looking to move down to the lower bracket um going to see if i can somehow get a a stream from one of the players and maybe i could uh give a little radio broadcast of the of the game but I am not sure exactly how to get that working. Uh, Forty-five seconds left. Look like looking looking like this series gonna is gonna end in a sweep. Uh, CMU look looking like they're gonna go down to the lower bracket. Uh, I'm trying to see who they could play when they drop down to the lower bracket. Looks like they're going to be playing a team called Mustache Ride, and I have. No idea who those players are, but uh, I'm going to see if I can find their maybe the game the game that they already lost to maybe try to get a a little reading of how good they are. But so it looks like they lost two O to a team called Chemistry. Again, I have no idea who any of these players are. Uh those games ended six four and three one. That is CMU dropping down to the lower bracket, losing 0-2 in a sweep to, I'm not sure exactly the name, but again. We'll call him TSK for now. Yes, that's <laughs> what we will call him. Um, uh, and unfortunate there, obviously, you know, we couldn't see what really happened. So uh, hard to talk about what could have could have gone wrong, what could have gone right. So uh, hopefully we can get you guys a stream for this next game. Uh, I don't think anyone else should be as strict with us about the rulings but we'll have to see yeah uh i think next time if we're gonna join a game uh we may have our players join and then i'm gonna ask them to ask ahead to see if it's okay with them and we're gonna hope that that works other if it's not that then uh i think we're gonna have to go back to what we're doing right now which would be very unfortunate uh so tmu dropping down to the lower bracket getting swept and now he's going to face a team called Mustache Ride. Uh, we are going to throw it out to a break now. We will be, we'll, we will be back for the uh, first round of the lower bracket. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We do have games. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have games. They did agree. They did let us stream it. So now we can actually talk about something. Yep. Yes. And it looks like we're starting off hot here. AST taking it to the wall. Trios getting it in the corner, looking to pinch it mid for Cold and Icy. Cold and Icy trying to drop it to Beware off the corner. 
Great pressure from Central. Beware with the flip reset off the back. Oh, it almost finds the net. Looking a little awkward for uh, Mustaches here. Uh, a lot of pressure here for CMU. Trio now going to get the second ball. Hits it off to the wall. Up to Beware. Pre-jumps it. ASC will get the clear out to the wall. Icy will now follow it up the wall. Hits ceiling. Tries to hit it. Passes it down to Trio. Has a shot, but that's saved by Usler. Yep, and Cold and Icy looking for another 50. Trio here to get the ball. Pass to Beware. Very nice ball. And Trio has a wide open net. Going to let Beware get the goal. What a good teammate by him. <laughs> That is 1-0 for CMU. Um, uh, kind of a <laughs> weird shot there from Beware. Not a lot of power, but I don't know if he was actually going for a shot, but we will take it. Yeah, and we're going to say that the backflip there by Trio was on purpose, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Definitely could have been, so we don't know what's going through his mind. Cold and Icy looking to get on backboard, but leaves it for Beware. AST pops it up, looking for a little pinch off the ceiling here. Icy with a great clear. Beware trying to hit the redirect and just misses left. Beware now trying to find a pass, but no one seemed to be committing. Icy now trying to hit off the backboard, looking for a double tap. Hits it off to the backboard, right to White Avalanche, who clears it out. AST will try to follow it. It'll 50 out off the post, off both posts is an out. Unlucky there for CMU. And he... Eclude, uh, Eclude, I can, don't know his name, but White Avalanche is taking it up the wall. Cold and Icy looking for the challenges, get a little piece of it. Back to our half though. Beware pops it up. Trio looking to get a 50 here, gets a good one. Beware looked like he wanted to go, but maybe realized Icy called him off and was up. Can't tell there. Uh, Beware now slamming it back into the blue half. Uh, he'll try to follow his own pass, but uh, Uslid will. Then followed up. Trio now trying to go for solo, but met in the air by White Avalanche. Free shot here for Icy. Goes to the whiff. Not sure if that was on purpose, but we will say that it is. Up now to get the 50. Over the head of Beware. Cold and Icy's going to need a turn on this. Oh, but Beware actually just takes control and does it. Uh, Beware's going to be trying to get it mid for someone here, or maybe for himself. Almost scores. Icy getting a little aggressive there on the third man, but able to get back and clean it up on the backboard. Yeah, low boost That's for Icy on the side wall. Uh, ball's now in the midfield. Usually tries to pass it to himself. Whiff there from Beware. That's a free ball for Icy. who tries to slam it to Beware, but Beware has no boost to challenge this ball. Yeah, Beware looked like he was maybe going for the rotate. Then Icy was trying to hit him, and it was a little bit confusing. But no harm, no foul. So Icy with a good redirect. Trio looks like with maybe an open net. And yep, there it is. Off a great demo, too. Good finish there by Trio. 2-0 to CMU. Uh, Good pass there from Icy, hitting Trio in, in stride and just an open net after that demo. Yeah, and we've had a couple looks like open nets that we've missed, but still up 2-0, so not too worried about this game so far. Trio looking to put it back to his own corner. It's definitely been a lot of pressure here for CMU. I don't really remember a clear opportunity that uh, Mustache Ride has had. Now, Trio with the pass to Beaver, but misses that, hits it off the post. A good demo to give Icy some space. White Avalanche is up quick though to get the 50. Now it's Beware's chance with the space. Goes over one, maybe looking for a double tap, but good backward defense by AST. Trio picking it up, going up. Another great defensive play by AST. Yeah, it's an awkward ball here, but Trio then looks for Beware. That might be open. And it's an own goal from White Avalanche. Great uh, counter attack there from CMU. Pass right from from Trio right to Beware, hits it off the crossbar and it hits right into White Avalanche. Unfortunate for him, but 3-0 to the Chippewas. Yeah, that was a little unfortunate. I had to make sure to miss the or skip the replay there. Don't want to seem toxic and have him watch that back. So, but uh, unlucky. I mean, he went for the save and it just it's, that was that was a tough ball to read. Uh, e Uslid takes it around one. Cold and icy there to follow it up, but bo with E Uslid with the bump on him. I see now looking off the backboard to Beware. He's up before all other players. Beware now with the double tap. It is in 4 0 to CMU. Great passing play from CMU. Just slamming off the backboard where Mustache Ride has no boost. Beware with an open double. Yeah, and I did. I was a little late to skip the replay there. I mean, that's what we've been seeing out of Beware. I mean, he's sometimes it's not the easy way he likes to take, but he's very mechanical, very fast, and he makes a lot of goals look flashy. It's definitely very, very quick, very mechanical there first. Now trying to go for a flip reset. Now looking for the bump with from Uslid. That ball, that goal will be open for Icy 5-0.
And, and again, I feel like Beware could have just shot this, but he's he's gonna go for the reset and the bump off the flip. So, I mean, he likes he likes to do it fancy. So, yeah, definitely very dominating performance from Seamir. Looking like hopefully that we can stream the rest of the games today because it seems like they're very dominant when we watch and they they lose when we're not watching. Stats do follow that up, if I do say so myself. Yep, and I think that's that was a great analytical <laughs> read right there. Icy up, unable to finish it. Beware, looking like he's going to head back, take the free ball here, put it to the corner. I can see either an air dribble or maybe a ceiling temp, but no, unable to keep with it. Now looking for the solo play, 15 and off ass. Icy now last man, but still commits, but hits out off the post. Free shot from Trio. That is 6-0, 20 seconds remaining. Yeah, and a little awkward there for AST on the backboard. Uh, ends up popping back to the midfield and Trio able to follow it up. And it's definitely a very dominating performance from CMU. 12 shots coming out from Beware is what I just looked at from the scoreboard, which is <laughs> ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen that high of a shot game from one player that's not even an OT, which is insane. Yeah, anytime you're hitting double digits, especially in an RLCS qualifier, is very impressive. Beware almost gets the pre-flip redirect. Ends up being a pretty good pass to the midfield for Icy there. He's unable to follow it up, but Beware gets his 13th shot on that here <laughs> and ends up finishing it off. Definitely a uh, very stat patty uh, finish there. Uh, very dominating game there from Beware. You see 13 shots. Absolute domination from CMU. One shot on the side of of mustache ride it's probably even more dominating than the first game that we played which is very surprising to me yeah that, that team was definitely better than the first team we played mm -hmm. i think again uh maybe they got stuff going on it looks like cold and icy everyone's leaving the party maybe a lobby reset or something um, I saw ASC lagging at the end, but I'm not sure if that's why we're yeah, leaving. I don't... Oh, no, wait. Remember, it's one game a limb. And is it one game? Ah, uh, yes. It is. Is it one game a limb? No, what I'm reading here, it is two games. Uh, looking like just a couple of car changes, I think, is what it, is what it was. So. Okay. There's still another game to be played here. Uh, it seems he's going to be looking for as much of a dominating game um i think if we just play with the teams that are on the screen right now i think cmu could still win i feel like a 3v1 with beware as the one i feel like he could still win but he has been very impressive today i, yeah. I do think you know it would be a close game it would be a close game yes definitely i would love, love to see it but again i would also love cmu to move on here so i, I wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't risk it here and that's why they give you three right we could, we could give up one. Oh, yeah. Beware on the kickoff here. Icy up the wall. Gets it under. You slid. I still don't know how to say that name. But Trio's here. A little bit of a whiff. Oh, it's probably because he switched to the Octane. He's not an Octane, man. Very, very remember. interesting choice here. I think I think Trio, is that a double commit? Yeah, Icy bumping Beware out of the way. Trio, no boost, but still gets the save. Shot here from White Avalanche. Icy will try to race back. And that is the first goal for Mustache Ride. Die. Very interesting choice from Trio to switch to the Octane here. I think we can blame that goal all on that, if you know. My expert opinion here. I think he was sawing Beware's freestyle in the Octane and said, "Hey, let me give that a try out." But it just didn't quite work out for him, the same as it does for Beware. Yeah. I, see me losing this game now. Definitely gonna have to play like we know they can. Uh, Beware looking for a pass to Trio. He's gonna have a, a shot here, but that's blocked out. Icy now trying to get back to this. Place it back to himself, trying to 50 it, but that is cleared away. Trio taken up in the corner, gets it mid. White Avalanche with another speedy challenge. Looks like he has a little opportunity here. He's gonna go under one. No one to follow up though. Trio getting it to the sidewall. Leave it for Beware. Looks like he's gonna go for a dribble. Round one, fakes the next one, gets it oh mid, my. wide open for Icy. Wow, what, this, a, what a pass by Beware. This man is showing off now. I think that is unnecessary. Faking two players out. Pinches it off the backboard right to the path of Icy. High game. Yeah, another great play by Beware. I feel like maybe giving him too much praise. Might, might need to cool it down a little bit. But cold and Icy with the demo. And it looks like we got Trio in the corner getting bumped. Trying to stay on it, though. Another bump, another bump. And Beware oh. fakes another player. 
and it's gonna be another goal for Beware. I don't know what you're talking about, JLab. I don't think we're giving him nearly enough praise as we should be. He is taking over this game against probably low GC ones. Uh, Two one to the triple is here with three minutes fifty seconds left. See he's looking to add onto their goal tally, and that might just add up right off of the kickoff free open net for Trio. Yeah, and you can see uh, that might just be aware from the last goal, a little, a little devastating blow, and it's hard to kind of bounce back on kickoff there. But you know, we'll see. We'll see if uh, the White Avalanche AST and Elusive can bounce back here. Yeah, almost an own goal there from AST. Would have been very unfortunate. Another fake from Beware. Looking like he's just going to try to do as many fakes as he can here. But Trio now racing back to get this. No boost. Might whiff, but passes it off the back pretty usefully. But hits that high. And that was rough from CMU. Uh, very yeah. awkward there. <laughs> Uslid able to find the back of the net. Trio trailing for the pre-jump. Cold and icy hitting the side. I, uh, I've seen prettier attempts at saves, but we're not going to give him too much. This, still two to three here. this is high quality Rocket League, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you've tuned in to see here. This is a close game. Now Trio trying to 50 that with White Avalanche, but White Avalanche does win. Free ball here on the back for ASU. Clears it out right to Beware. Should be an open net. And it is Beware with a second goal of the game. Yeah, and uh, I mean, another shot for Beware on net and another ball in the net. So, I mean... He's doing something right right now. Uh, hopefully he can keep it up. He's doing great for the team trio. And as I say that, here's a ball to be where he's going to go for a solo play. Over one, possibly looking for the double. Stop by AST in the backboard. Good backboard defense there. Icy with a soft touch. He's looking to probably boom that off corner to trio. Trio now trying to take control in the corner, trying to get past one of the players. Does White Avalanche free clear, but passes it right to Beware. But Uslid is there in time. Icy now, free ball, but does get 50 right away. Beware up. Puts it in the corner. ASC trying to pass it. Good demo there from Uslid. Trio taking it now. Gets the 50 down under the midfield. Trio's going to look for a bump. And it looks like a free ball maybe. Nope. Uslid able to turn around fast. Beware with the pop up field. Trio's going to try to find it in the corner. Maybe rushing that a little too fast. Uh, but Beware's here. Great backward. And Trio with the redirect down fields, stopped by Uslid. White Avalanche just going to center it down for Beware, looks like, again. Going for a play, maybe a double tap or a flip reset. Looking like he was trying to get a flip reset. Uh, I'm not sure if he uh, faked this or... Oh, he did get the reset. Good pass there to Icy. That's an open net. Yeah, just unable to slot it. Stopped by the crossbar there, but another almost goal for Beware, but it leads to an open net for Icy. Now it's going off the sidewall here. AST is going to look for his reset. He's going to try to do a little something fancy. I don't think he quite got it, yeah, though, from the looks of it. Looks like he was spamming his X button, but nothing seemed to be working. Uh, Beware does beat Yusla to that ball, but zero boost, not much he can do. Icy does steal the, bo steal the boost from Beware, so Beware is zero boost, but trying to pick up pads. Now Trio trying to 50 it in the blue corner. Beware there now to follow. Goes for the shot. Actually, a pass to Icy, but that is met on the crossbar. Trio's looking to find Beware, but again, super light. He's just been kind of picking up pads here. Haven't seen him hit a full boost yet. Flicks one with 15 boost. Gets it around another. Gonna try to leave it, but Icy was looking for maybe the demo. The little miscommunication there. Yeah, I think Icy was um was gonna turn to get boost there, but then decided, oh, maybe he is passing to me, but then it was too late and it's just awkward ball. Icy now trying to take it off the backboard, but that's met by Icy, but that's straight down. Trio with a free ball if he can beat him. Leaves it for Beware, who should have an open net, and he does finish it off. Great. That is a hat trick from Beware, but should we be surprised? And I'm keeping track. He's got five. We'll see if he can get into the double digits again for shots on goal here. Beware with the kickoff off the sidewall. Icy taking the boost and then out. Leave it for Trio to a better look at it. Uh, Icy's going to try to play this. Pinch it in, maybe? And AST's there. Yeah, free. Uh, Yuslid will try to redirect this right to AST, but... Great 50 there from Beware. ASC will now take this up the wall. Trying to trying to find a teammate here for White Avalanche, but he does miss useless challenge. Third man is bumped. Should be an open net, but Icy does not have the angle to score, but may have it now. Looking for the pass to Trio, and that is in. Two goals for Trio. CMU up by five goals. Yeah, this one's looking pretty dominant. 7-2. to Pretty hard to come back for him. Uh... Holden Icy is going to hit off the sidewall. Maybe looking for someone mid. No one there but White Avalanche. AST with a little bit of a free ball. Pops it up. Maybe looking for a bump here, but could not find it on Beware. Beware is super awkward, but Icy does get back in time to help him out. Zero boost from Icy, just looking for a 50, but 
Trio will help him out and does get 50 out. Trio pops it up. Beware trying to find some demos. Cold and Icy here for the 50, but he was the third man, so no one's back here just yet. Beware is back now and will take as much time as he needs for this ball. 10 seconds left. Simu dominating performance in the lower bracket. Beware now trying to pad stats again, but does miss. Trio will miss that also. I don't know if that was purposeful miss, but no, it looks like it was not. That is a clean sweep for CMU. GG's to Mustache Ride. Great gain there from Beware. Very dominating. Only six shots for this one. Kind of mid, but I think we'll take yeah. it with a 7-2 scoreline. And again, I mean, maybe it's come a theme, but I got the tracker running. That's three open nets for Trio <laughs> that we've seen missed. And it's unfortunate. But again, yeah, great series for Beware. Kind of slacking in game three, you know. Uh, made some good plays, but not quite enough shots for our liking. Yes, definitely. We are going to send it to a break. Uh, uh, we are looking to play Mercs R Us, so it should only be a couple of minutes. So we will see you then. Getting into the game here, um, we are going to play against a team called Mercs R Us. Um, I'm not unsure about how good they are, but moving on to the next round of RLCS, every game will get more, more and more difficult. You know, I'm happy they're living up to their name at least. I've seen a lot of Mercs out yes. here, so, you know, and, and Mercs one of my favorite cars. It used to be one of the OG cars. Um, sadly got replaced by, I feel like, the Battle Bus from Fortnite, so, but yeah, nothing... happy to see they're bringing it back. Nothing will bring, nothing will ruin the OG though. Nothing can, nothing can take over. Trio now looking for a redirect, but does miss it. Beware, it gets a 50 out into the corner. Jayhawk trying to follow this up. Icy will beat him to this ball. And yeah, duh, taking a good 50 there. Uh, trying to clear it up. Uh, Jayhawk gets another 50. Beware, looking to do something off the sidewall here. Passes down mid for Icy with a shot, and he gets blocked by yeah, duh again. Yeah, Trio now trying to just keep the pressure up, but that's going to be a clear out for Jayhawk. But Icy will be there to follow. Kind of looking for a, a second touch, but going to be too low to follow that up. Trio now blasts off the sidewall. Jayhawk with a free clear. But two players up here from CMU. Kind of awkward. Double commit here, but they do keep the pressure on. Yeah, Beware did a nice job of laying that down for Icy, who's kind of falling awkwardly off the double commit. Icy trying to find the redirect. Just misses. Beware puts it off the backboard. Going to be a little awkward for Jayhawk. And Trio might have found a slot, but it's a good save by Yada again. Yeah, it looks like Trio didn't want to fully commit there to make sure because uh, they faked him out. But Beware does get the first goal of the series. Uh, pass out there from Icy. Pump in net from Trio on Ordinance. Just no other player there. Uh, and that is 1-0 to the Chippewas with 3 minutes, 30 seconds left. Yep, I mean, it looks like we have Beware on kickoff. We get a nice win there. Headed towards the net. A little trouble for Jayhawk there, but luckily no harm there. Yeah, Duh looking for a clear. Just kind of pops it up to Ordinance. 
Definitely awkward here from for Mercs R Us. Beware going with a solo opportunity. 20 boosts left. Goes for the flip reset. Gets it over one, but Ordinance does get back to the icy now. Trying to keep the pressure on. Just hits it off the ceiling, but Trio now with the pre-jump, but doesn't read that ball. Beware now. Free clear, but a bit of an awkward touch from him. Icy free ball. A lot of time here. Tries to go for a 50. Gets a 50. Trio now. One on one with Ordinance. Tries to flick it over one. Does get the bump. Very awkward there from Ordinance. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, Great flick by Trio here. Uh, it looks like Ordnance was in a tough spot. Jayhawk unable to get back, and yeah, struggling also. Maybe a little boost from everyone coming back there, but great flick by Trio still. Yeah, looking look like looks like Ordnance just cheated up a little bit too far, put in a very bad spot. Not expecting that good of a flick. I see now free shot, another bump there from Trio, but doesn't get an, enough of a piece of him to actually affect him on the save. Yep. And beware here, trying to get a catch. A little tough on the catch there. Bounced away from him, but Icy looking for a pinch off the ceiling, coming down mid. Just a little out of range for Trio and Beware. Trio pops it up. Beware's gonna need to play backboard here. Shoots it low, good save. Might have some space here on the sidewall if he can get it up, but takes an awkward bounce. Yeah, Trio dealt with it well after Beware looked very awkward. 10 boosts from him, just looking for a bump on Jayhawk. Trio trying to pre-jump, but didn't have an angle for his shot. Icy tries to shoot that, but gets 50'd out. Uh, Jayhawk taking a lot of time here. Just hits it straight to Beware. Has a free ball. Icy now looking for a redirect, but doesn't come. Yeah, and Trio's just trying to keep pressure on Beware with another great pop. Looking for another solo play. Reset, unable to get back to it. That could have been a good opportunity for Central there. Uh, Trio last back here. A little awkward. Goes for the instant challenge. Beware, it looks like he missed that boost, so... Yadda will beat him to this ball, but that's a free ball for Icy, who then hits it off the right wall. Looking for a pass mid to Trio. Going for an early shot, but met instantly by Jayhawk. Opened up from Beware, but does kind of miss it, but Yadda looks like he was getting back in time. Looked like maybe he was trying to hand that ball off to Trio, but there's one back. Trio able to slot it, though. Take care of business. 3-0 for the Chippewas early. Yeah, very dominating game here so far. Not the total, not the absolute dominations and shots we saw of game one of last series, but obviously 3-0 is still a very, not dominating, but very convincing scoreline. Uh, Cold and Icy now going for a solo play. Uh, not sure how much boost he has. Goes for the flip reset, open net for Beware. Doesn't look like he could wrap around. Doesn't, don't know if he was low on boost or what happened. Now trying to go for a solo play. It's off the backboard, going for the triple tap, but it doesn't come through. Yeah, and I was kind of thinking maybe Beware was low on boost there, but had full boost going up the wall, so maybe he was just trying to play it to himself for a little bit trickier of a goal. Yeah, maybe he was just trying to be super fancy, uh, like he always does whenever we're dominating games. Trio now, free ball here, trying to get past Jayhawk, but does get beat. Icy, very awkward to this ball, hits it over to Ordinance, who tries to shoot it, but doesn't have an angle. Weird pinch out there from CMU, but... Beware, full boost, looking to catch this ball, going for an air dribble, flip reset, trying to get past one, but doesn't. Icy now, 50s it up, off the backboard. No one seems to be there for CMU. Yeah, an ordinance here, trying to get something up, but he ends up just passing it down to Beware. Beware gets the oh. beat, and that was a nice angle from him. I actually didn't think he was going to score from there. I thought it was going to be a pass I off the backboard. I thought backboard. it was definitely one of those, like, cup, last game where he just, like, pinches it off, but... It just gets it past the, the last defender of Mercs RS, and that's 4-0. Yeah, it looks like we have Jayhawk here on kickoff versus Trio, and it's just going to be a kill for Beware, who pops up off ceiling. Looks, I don't know if he has enough boost for that one. <laughs> looks like he did. Tried it, though. Yeah, it looks like he only had 10 boosts. Very hard to read with that little boost. Trio now with 30 boost, hits it back to himself. Icy now looking just for all demos, looking for another player. Beware now finishes it off. Very dominating and convincing game from CMU. Yeah, and Beware says, thank you for teeing that one up for me, Trio, but I'll take it from here. Yeah, I think it's definitely, we don't want any other team to deny us coverage on the game. So it's like every game that we cover, we win. So I would love for this to continue. Beware looking to go turtle mode on him, pass it to Trio. And yeah, duh, might have a ball here, but uh, the three <laughs> Chippewas battling for the ball here, all free jumping around. So we'll see. This one should get down either way. It'll be game one to the Chippewas in a very dominating fashion. Open net here for Yoda. Tries to finish. I don't know. I think that hit the ground there. I think we need a, a replay yeah, on that. It was very fishy. You know, I, never, I never never, cheer for the other team we're facing, but I love to see the Merc finally put one in. <laughs> I have not seen that in years. 
That's definitely very beautiful, beautiful shaped car. I love how square it is. It just seems very massive when you play with it. Uh, very dominating game there from CMU. Uh, 16 shots to four. <laughs> definitely very, very, very convincing. Cold and icy there with the six shots. Just they seem to be playing the best defense when icy shooting. I guess. Mm -hmm. Definitely. All right, going into game two here, one zero on series score. First CMU looking at looking to close this series out convincingly, just like in game one. Yeah, we haven't really talked about it much, but Trio is sticking with the octane surprisingly. Um, I guess if it isn't broken, don't fix it. They haven't lost since he's been on yeah. it. So, and there he goes scoring a goal with it. Yeah, definitely. I, we may see the card change come back if he starts losing. If we lose a game, though, I, I don't know. I don't know if he has any of those placebo effects. But he's been playing with Fennec for almost a whole year now. So switching cards is definitely takes a very long learning curve. But it seems like it's going all right so far. Icy just missing the left side there. Beware takes a good 50, another good 50. Let's see if we can get a third one. And he does. Popped up. Yada definitely struggling. Could tell that that was not going to work out as soon as he left the ground. Trio now hits it off the backward. Free ball from Yada. Not a great touch. Bump out there from Trio. This is an open net for Beware. Does fake out one. And Trio sealing that goal. Maybe a little payback from last game when Beware took one off his car. So. Had to make sure that he was getting his goals this game. Yeah, trying to steal Beware's shots and goals from this game. Just seeing that 13 shot game and it's just like frustrating for him. Probably, you know, we know Trio, he's a very selfish player, wants all the glory to himself, so I'm not surprised that he stole that. Yep. And Beware making sure it does not get to midfield unless he's scoring there, so. And Trio is gonna Oh no, it's Beware. Beware says I'm gonna still get my goals, Trio here. Yeah. Trio can't score if he's not if he's going for demo, so maybe they'll just try to you know if you if you dangle a, a demo in front of Trio like it's a like it's a dog treat, he's gonna run after it. That's just kind of the guy he is, so Yeah, he's gonna try to find another one here, but <laughs> Jayhawk <laughs> with a great pre-jump there. Did not see that one coming. Trio's even gonna say what a save because he's a little upset, I think, that he didn't get another goal for the yeah, hat trick. Think, yeah, you could see you can see the little selfishness coming out from the player. I told you guys, I'm not <laughs> I would never lie on the broadcast to you guys ever. Open net here from Beware, but does get saved out from Jayhawk. Trio trying for a very difficult <laughs> angle. <laughs> is Trio, Trio really wants this hat trick. You see him pre-jump, and I wouldn't be surprised if I see Trio fly up on the screen here. So <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there he is. Very, very, trying to get this MVP. His MVP stats on his profile in Rocket has not been looking good. Even bumpy Beware there, I saw. Trying to <laughs> make sure, hey, this is my ball. This is my territory. This is my game. Beware. Yeah, he's tight. Just tired of just getting carried all the time. Trying to put the team on his back, but doesn't seem like he's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> and Beware is going to take it off the side wall. Looking to follow it. Got to be careful, though, because if it goes midfield, Trio, <laughs> I see Trio already up in the air. Sadly, it didn't get high enough for him. Jayhawk, free ball for him. Trying to clear it out. Very interesting wheels. It's the first time I've seen him. Beware. Very lucky goal there, but looking like CMU's running away with it still three minutes left on this clock a lot of game left but looks like CMU will move ahead in this lower bracket yeah I'm not sure what it is about this game but it feels like we've been commentating on this game for about 10 minutes so yeah, I feel like we've been in here for a while <laughs> and Trio's gonna try to find try, trying to get the MVP back it's the bump Beware's up off the corner trying to follow it but good defense by ordinance and cold and icy with the pre-jump now too a lot of pre-jumps come from cmu if trio wants to get this looking like for the rest of this game we're just gonna i'm gonna be commentating over this point score seeing if trio can get this mvp because <laughs> because <laughs> there's not much game left going on here a lot of just Man. weird shots coming on a lot of just pre-jumps and you know the mercs got to be wondering what is going on here Free shot here from IC, not a great shot, but Trio now flying, <laughs> just flying <laughs> past the ball. I'm trying to stay composed here, but Trio is flying his car at every single ball. Icy now free clear, weird shot, almost an own goal. Good bump there from Orden. It's Trio now trying it off the backboard to Icy, who passes it over to Beware, but Trio he cuts him off, <laughs> grabs the boost, going for a solo flip, but does actually pass it. Icy free shot, that's saved. 
Little monkey in the middle of beware. Trio and Ice oh. trying to take these goals. And Trio finds the back of the net. Put it up to 463. Only 20 points behind oh, beware. 19 points. Or 21 points, ladies and gentlemen. We have a race on our hand. I would not be surprised to see Trio just ball chasing, trying to win this MVP. Cold and Icy up, not able to find anyone. And here comes Trio getting in the touch. Is that a centered ball? He's got to be asking himself to put him to 484. Yeah, looking, <laughs> looking like uh, Trio cut off a CMU player there. I'm not quite sure. It looked like he just kind of rushed towards the ball. Jayhawk does get a 50 over two CMU players, but beware, a lot of space for him to play with. So he'll take control, trying to fake pass one. Free clear here from Icy. And it seems like Trio is beating the ball into the opponent's half. I keep seeing Trio <laughs> off field while we're on defense here. Oh. And, oh, what a save, but Beware gets another shot on net there. Cold and Icy going to try to find Beware in the middle. Trio's probably screaming, no, don't pass it. <laughs> yeah, Beware must be very angry that they saved that ball. That could have been an extra 100 points, but now it's only 20. Or it's, it's only uh, 20 for the shot, I believe. Trio now open net, Beware cuts him off. Good. Very, really stopping him from getting any kind of shot or anything going. Yep. And Beware making sure there's no oh. offensive pressure. And Beware's going to get the shot. I can only imagine the thoughts racing through Trio's head right now. Very tilting from Trio just trying to get this MVP. But looking like Beware with the musty flick. Oh my god. What great the breezy, breezy off the sidewall. Ooh. And that was clean. Well deserved goal there for Beware. Trio now trying to look for any goals that he can. Probably, I, I won't be surprised if seeing it in the chat. Hey guys, can you let me score? I'm trying to win MVP here, but <laughs> doesn't look like that's coming out. Trio you know, just block. <laughs> that was both the... Beware and Trio up for the ball, both trying to find a little piece of it. Gotta wonder what's going through Icy set here as he has not scored a goal this series. <laughs> you might just turn around and try to put one on our own net just to see one fall. Beware just freestyling past all the players. This game is over 6-0. <laughs> <laughs> Trio's is free jumping for the other side. That will be open. Goal for Mer Mercs R Us. Fantastic. Comeback coming coming right now. Is that is that two for Yada? I believe so. I think he had I think he had a game. That's two had, goals. Yeah. That's two more than Icy. <laughs> yeah, we have to might have to get the um the contract situation going here. Uh, maybe oh, I have to kick like Icy. <laughs> GG's Icy. there. Might have lost his spot to Yada after that series. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Just looking at the goal tally. Very dominating here from CMU. <laughs> Orden is coming out with the did we win. Uh, just confirming that yes, they did. Uh, GG's there from Mercs R Us. Very good points about all that. <laughs> definitely a big, big uh, skill gap between those games. <laughs> yeah, Most and if they really were not that bad of a team. I no. think CMU just played very well, and uh, again, they freestyled a little bit, but I think everyone in the lobby kind of knew the game was over, so I didn't think it was being played that serious. By yeah, definitely team. once it was um, 4-0 with, uh, with three minutes left, it was basically over. It's uh, definitely uh, just, you know, just freestyling doing a bunch of other stuff um so looks like our next match will be against msu maroon which that is missouri state so we have a little bit of a collegiate action um since it is er, sorry mississippi state my apologies um I, I i would really doubt that we'd have a broadcast issue with them i would i would honestly be wouldn't be surprised if they're streaming it um themselves you know so we should be all good to stream this match. Uh, we should be joining here in just a minute, so I'm actually not going to kick us to break because every time we kick us, kick us to break, it's only like a minute, so it kind of feels uh, useless to do it. Yeah, and another... It's, it, you got to make sure you can bounce back from a game like that, too. I don't want to come into Mississippi State, who I, I don't really know their team that well, but if they have some decent players, it can be tough to adjust from that freestyling on the Merc boys into a real serious yeah. comp game. It's definitely um, like the team that we played who denied us broadcast did sweep their way into day two. So I'm not sure exactly who they are. I've heard of them, but they must be a very solid team to take down us and another team that they face. 
Um, I'm also trying to look for MSU Maroon. They did get swept in um, the upper finals of day one by a team called Defiant, uh, which does have Faded on it, which I do know his name, which he, and XI, who um, I believe goes to... Uh, I'm not sure exactly where he goes to, but I have seen him in a tournament in, in an in-person land with us before. I think he played for Sienna Heights or a team with that kind of name. He's a very solid player, so definitely not too bad um, getting swept by that team. That is a very, very solid team. I wouldn't be surprised to see them make it into day three or even make it into the main event. Very, very solid. Yeah, and we, we know MSU is a very solid team. I think all of us have played a couple of their players in competitive play, and they normally are very good players, very fundamental and mechanical at the same time. So, Yeah, uh, our game has been reported, so uh, we should be joining in just a second uh, once both uh, teams decide to ready up. So, yeah, as we were saying, uh, it seems he's definitely going to have to lock back in on their comms because this game is not going to be as free as the last one was. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not going to be free at all. So they definitely have to lock in. Make sure the comps are good. Know where each player is. I was I was talking to them beforehand, and I was I could definitely when they were scrimming, I could see the issues that they would have. It was just uh, two players would commit on the back wall, or one player would jump and one would be on the back wall, and they'd both jump for it. So definitely calming early. Who's going to go for that ball? It just cleans up CMU's rotations, and it lets them find outlet passes faster, and just lets them score better. Yeah, and again, they, they have a very sound team. They have two very fast players in Trio and Icy, and then Beware, obviously, all over the field. Very mechanical, too. So they have their scoring threat, and it's just up to making sure they play good backboard defense, denying the other team of any pressure situations, which are obviously going to arise when you face a good team. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely those passes were were helping CMU a lot. Well, I mean, there was a lot of space to work with on the last game, but whenever they find a pass in field, they could just slam it into the net. So if they could look for more of those and hopefully um, find a teammate, slot it top left. Because, you know, once you, if you keep finding each other on offense, you can just keep the pressure and keep, um, keep starving the other team. Yeah, and the solo plays by Beware also opening up a lot of space for Trio and Icy to work a little one-two game between each other. Kind of kind of get the other team boost starved when they're not sure what's going on and having to really use a lot of boost to contest you on the backboard and you kind of start that suffocation process where you're just denying boost over and over again and that's how we find a lot of goals too yeah definitely um still waiting for msu there they go they did ready up so we should be getting into the game any moment now again i'm still hopeful they will let us broadcast but if they do not we will still be commentating the party screen uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that. Um, very excited to see this matchup. Um, obviously, nowadays you're seeing a lot of, a lot more colleges sign up for RLCS because you know the money aspect and it's definitely a lot. It's the most open RLCS has ever been in its history. So, and with the the lack of CRL qualifiers or any CRL season, uh, college teams are having to find uh, anything to do during the season because. Uh, Epic Games still has not announced anything to do with Collegiate Rocket League, which I'm hoping that they do soon because we are almost halfway through almost every single college semester and there's still no announcement that I've seen. Yeah, and again, back to your point about how RLCS is formatted this year, I know a lot of the pro teams are kind of confused with it. Obviously, it gives us a good chance to, you know, compete against some good teams and see what it's like in the the upper half of the scene but again they're making those pro teams really work for it this year uh no one's really guaranteed a spot here this year yeah. so i mean even we saw an eu um just today or or last week we saw a uh, carmen corp which who won the entire regional last or a couple weeks ago in an open qualifier two they lost to a team called Su. And they dropped to the lower bracket of the open qualifier, which of course they still made it through because they're one of the best teams in the world. But you can see that none of these none of these games are guaranteed. Anybody can anybody can win. So, and it, you can see that even in the top eight bracket of European of EU right now, it, it's all mixed up. And 
you wouldn't expect the teams that are seated to be seated where they are in the top eight tournament. So definitely this qualifier shakes things up. Again, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna add my opinion into this because I can. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this this format. At least when it comes to the top teams, I would. I don't understand why they made everyone go through the open qualifiers again. Even the winners. I feel like if you win the regional, I feel like you should get a award, instead of the money reward, get a reward for qualifying. Even if that's like. I'm okay with if it's just that the the winner team, maybe the finalist or maybe the semi-finalist, top four, top two, something like that. I guess they just wanted every they want to reset every week to be the same, so everyone's on an even playing field, so everyone has an equal chance to win. Yeah, it's a it's a little surprising how they did it. I know Epic's been getting a lot of backlash, especially from a lot of the content creators and a lot of the pros. Um, weird format. Um, but yeah, you th you think they'd maybe have like a plan, but like make sure that the teams that deserve to be there and have kind of earned their spot, like the high up teams like Carmen Corp and Vitality for EU, even G2 and like Lumin Luminosity for yeah. NA, like the fact that they're just not guaranteed spots every week is ridiculous. Yeah, definitely. For how much money that those orgs pull into the scene and how much even like we saw last week or there two weeks ago with uh the EU Open Qualifier won uh, the team streams for Carmine Corp and for a new team called Gamers 8 or Gamers G8 or something. Um, they were pulling in almost 50, 40, 50 K viewers. So. so again, we are asking if it's OK if we have. Okay, we are good to go right. on the stream. I am going to flip it to Rocket League gameplay here. Uh, looking like we're playing MSU. Uh, not sure how good they are. They did get swept out. They did play a team called No Mex No Problem and swept them, but I obviously have no idea how good they are. So. Yeah, and right off the start though, I can see uh, better rotations than the, the Merc boys, it looks like. Uh, and we got Muffin Yu going up, trying to get a 50 here. Beware there. And a lot of space. Cold and Icy maybe a little bag. Wasn't sure if Trio was behind him or not for the third to push up. Trio's going to take it solo here. Maybe looking for the reset. Just trying to get a 50. Cold and Icy off the backboard. Beware's here to take another 50. A little dangerous, but they're able to get it out for MSU. Yes. Uh, trio now with it on the side while fakes one, but no boost didn't have a flip left We were beating one going for the double but can't get the read off the corner here. Great depth pump Icy had an open net there. I don't know if he got that calm to him could have shot that on net But keeps the pressure on Mississippi State looking like very very low on boost almost all players on zero here Yeah, cold and icy keeping it in the corner uh, CLO just trying to get it out. Luke looking like he's got it off the sidewall here. Maybe looking for a double. Unable to get it. Trio off the backboard. Fakes out cold and icy. Thinking that he's got maybe another one. Yeah, beware. Tries a 50 mid. Free clear here for Luke. Icy up instantly, but does whiff. Trio's very awkward. 2v1, but that ball is off. Luke just trying to keep the pressure on. Gets the boost deal. Icy now. Free clear for him. Hits it over to Muffin Yu. Beware, but do does get to it first, but Muffin Yu deals with it well. Yep, and there's another whiff by uh, Central Michigan player. Trio off the sidewall there. Luke looking for a Bane. Beware's up, pops it over to the left. Trio's here to challenge. Icy's got a lot of space. He's going to boom it up to the left, though, because of a fast challenger there. Unable to get to it for Trio here. A lot of space for Mississippi State to work with, but Beware does get back really fast. Trying to pass it over to Trio, but seems to call him off, actually. Trying to go solo. Icy now very awkward. Really, really awkward in front of the CMU net, but doesn't seem like it's uh, ending in anything bad. Now, Icy maybe have a free shot here off a of redirect. Goes for the shot. Good save there from Luke. We were able to drop it back to Trio. Trio just misses left. Looking upfield for MSU here to Luke and unable to find it. Trio's here, though, to put it up the wall. Gonna just try to keep following it. Might look for someone mid here. And he gets it over two. It might be open net. And yep, Trio's gonna find the back of the net here. Fantastic air dribble from Trio. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Oh, Luke, not a great uh, jump or aerial from him. Very open for CMU. Um, we see that definitely Mississippi State is at a very better caliber than the last team that we played, but definitely I 
believe that Simi has a lot, had a lot of pressure, just hasn't seemed to have a very good shooting in, in this series. Yep, and just as we say that, though, Luke's gonna find one. Looks like a good pre-jump from CLO here, able to dunk Beware and find Luke off the ceiling. Yeah, very good pass. Uh, Icy and Trio didn't know which one to go for that one, so very, very awkward, unfortunate. Tie game here. CMU had a lot of pressure at the first half of the game, looking to continue that in the second half. Luke now with the free ball, hits it up the sidewall, but kind of passes to mid. Free shot from Trio may have an open net. Does get saved out, but 50. Double commit there from Icy and Beware. Free clear her. Muffin using a look for the double off the wall. Looks like it's rolling back to Beware. Cold and Icy going to pick it up. Maybe looking for a flick. Gets the 50. Beware here for another 50. A trio tried, passes that down to Beware, who does take a shot, but Muffin Yu is there back in time. Trying to pass it mid to Luke, but that's cut out fast from Beware. A little awkward there for CeeLo, but he does deal with it well. Trio now hits it off to the sidewall, back to himself, but it's great positioning there from CeeLo, but now passes it to Muffin Yu, hits it to the corner. Free ball for Icy, gets it past one. Luke now trying to shadow this ball, passes it down to CeeLo. Icy looking for a 50. Luke on the backboard, great positioning. Beware might still have a flip, he does. Icy's trying to find the top left, unable to find it. Trio with another good 50, just to keep the pressure off. Muffin Yu is very awkward there. Looks like he's just kind of falling off the backboard, unable to get to it. Yeah, looking like uh, uh, he, he either got stuck on the corner there, or just had no boost to actually jump off. So yeah, very awkward. Looking like he barely had any boost. Colton Icy on the kickoff here. It looks like b is going to get the demo. Trio's going to try to slot it, but Muffin Yu is right there to clean it up. b with a down touch. Looks for the Ooh. double, but leaves it for Colton Icy, who's denied by the crossbar. And Luke clears it out. Free ball here from CMU. b does look for Icy, who's go going for the air triple. Uh, unfortunate backflip there. It's not on purpose. Trio now looking to leave this for b Takes it solo. Trying to look for a 50. Comes out straight for Trio. Kind of looks for b A little high, but b does put it down. And Trio's going to get on it here. Free ball back to Icy. Gets it around one. CeeLo's bumped, so he can't really come back to it. Trio off the corner. CeeLo's up fast, though. Beware's going to pop it up field. Trio's unable to go for it for a quick play by Luke there. Icy, good touch off the backboard. Trying to find Beware. Beware off the corner. One more mid, but it's just going to clear across. Uh, Muffin Yu now clears it out straight to Icy who goes for the read off the corner looking for the shot is that in no it is off the crossbar Trio trying to look for the follow up but great save from Luke Beware trying to keep the pressure on whiffs that ball probably wasn't on purpose Trio no boost does get demos for his troubles Icy now insta challenge from him that's a great challenge to keep the pressure on yep and Luke making it a little bit dangerous but Trio is going to be able to clean it up Looks like they have two challenges in this ball. CeeLo and a little miscommunication between CeeLo and Luke that's going to send it down to their half and probably clear the game off. Yeah, very unlucky there from Luke, and I think that was CeeLo. CeeLo was trying to catch that ball and trying to bring it up the wall, but Luke was trying to rotate back around him and just unfortunate that it's hit straight in his path. Great game there from CMU. Obviously, I mean, if you look at the shot totals, I mean, 4 to four to 12, I believe that, or 4 to 13, I believe, so... Very dominating from CMU. Unfortunate, uh, he had a, a lot of um. They had a lot of missed chances there. I'd say in the game. So if they, if they just fi focus on their shooting packs, uh, I believe that they could win this game a lot more dominating. Uh, looking like Luke joined the wrong team again there, <laughs> for the second game in a row. Unfortunate. Uh, quick chat says he's sorry. So we move on. Kickoff here on game two. Uh, one zero to CMU. Two to one in the first game. Looking like this ball will go on CMU's half, but that's a free clear from Icy. Yep, and Beware's just trying to slow it down a little bit, not give him a free ball. Icy pops it off out the sidewall. He's got some space looking for Beware in the midfield. Almost finds it. It looks like Beware thought maybe they'd be a little faster and he could try to dunk one of them, but it ended up just being a free ball in front of the net. Yeah, free ball here from Beware. Full boost. He can do basically whatever he wants. Trying to be a little too cute with it again. Trio can't get back to that. That's a whiff from two CMU players. Uh, I would love to see um, Beware there. Instead of trying to catch that, maybe just keep it on the hood of his car and just dribble it out on the ground. But uh, it's still a lot of game left. Yeah, ends up backfiring just a little bit as CeeLo gets a free ball off the sidewall for a free goal there. 
Uh, Cold and Icy on kickoff, gonna win it pretty dominatingly. CeeLo's able to eat it up pretty well. Trio's gonna keep it on the backboard. It looks like Muffin Yu's a little awkward there. Shocked he didn't jump a little earlier. Yeah, Beware fakes this out for Trio, but accidentally bumps him, but looks like uh, MSU is not expecting that to happen. Uh, now Beware, free ball, full boost, gonna try to do something uh, cool with it. Gets bumped though. Free ball here for Cold and Icy, but that is cleared away. And Trio off the sidewall, looking to get a 50. Gets demo, but he gets it there. And Beware Ooh. able to get it around. He just finds a way to score, it seems like. I keep thinking these are going to be pretty relatively easy saves or 50s. But yeah, he finds a way to get it around the defender. Yeah, just keeps uh, the game's going so fast. He just hits a, a small fake, and it's just an open net for him. Now, full boost, but in a very awkward position. Hits that right down to CeeLo. Great save there from Icy. It's very difficult to get that save while getting hunted down for a demo. Icy now with a little bit of a double commit from Trio, but no boost there for Trio. Then it's cleared out onto the backboard, but Beware there, no boost again for him. Yeah, but Beware's here just kind of driving around backwards, a little awkward off the backboard. This could be really dangerous unless someone gets there. And it looks like Icy's just going to cut everyone off and say, I'll get it out for us. And here we go to Muffin Yu off the side while looking for the double. No one there to follow, though, and Beware is going to clear it downfield. Luke off the back wall. Gets a good touch. Trio is going to try to get around one. Gets around two. Looking for the demo. Beware's there. Oh, and just a little awkward for him. Yeah, it looks unfortunate. I think Trio got the bump on the, the last man, but just got in the way of Beware's fake. There wasn't a, an angle for him to shoot, so we just had to wait for the ball to go in, and looks like Trio just blocked it off. Trio now, great, great demo. Opens up a lot of space. Free shot there from Icy, but that's going to be easily saved. Yeah, and that's, he wanted to make sure he got it on target. He ended up just hitting a little high on it and just dropping it to him. And Beware gets another fake with the reset, almost flips it around the last. Uh, cold and icy, making sure to try to get a 50 here. Ends up just pinching it back. But Trio looking like he's got a little bit of space with this. Maybe he can get it around one. A little dangerous here, though. Up oh, field. Triple commit there from CMU, but as long as the ball doesn't go in the net, I don't see a big problem with the triple commit. Uh, Muffin, you very awkward ball here. Free ball here from Beware. Just going to shoot it, and it's in. Lead for CMU with two minutes left. Great shot there from Beware. Very awkward from Muffin U. Seems like he was trying to bring it up the up on the corner there, but just misses it. And once he misses it, he was just in full panic mode and accidentally hits it to the center. Yeah, and back, back to a triple commit, too. I mean, it's not a bad thing because they got the clear out. I mean, if that ball bounces anywhere but to the other opposing team's half, that's when you got to worry a little bit. And oh as my. I'm talking, Beware finds another goal. Hat trick here from Beware in the second game. <laughs> Great fake, just goes over the top of one, fakes it low, catches it, shoots it under the other one. 3-1 to CMU. Now off the kickoff here. Two minutes left. CMU's going to probably look to just keep this ball and run the time off the clock, but they may still try to get some extra goals. Yeah, and Cold and Icy is going to try to get the double tap off the wall, get a pinch, but it's not that hard, so it's just going to end up being a free ball for CeeLo here. Uh, Beware is making sure this gets up the wall so he can take it in the air. Trying to fake one again, and he oh. fakes two. Wow. I'm not sure if that's exactly what Beware was looking to do, but it just seems that Missouri State just respects Beware's mechanical ability so much that a bit of a ghost hit there. Uh, really unfortunate for Mississippi State, uh, but they they seem like they're respecting his mechanics a little too much. Just giving him way too much space on the any like up in the air. This might be open here for CeeLo. Oh, man, that was a that was, very unfortunate that was miss. unfortunate. Uh, they're going to keep the pressure up, though. Beware's going to put it off the sidewall. Luke possesses it. Muffin you with the shot. And it looks like they're starting to get some opportunities, but just not finding the back of the net here. This is definitely Those are definitely two opportunities that Mississippi State really had to take if they have any chance of getting back in this game. Three Three goal lead with a minute 15 left is not impossible, but... Very, very difficult. If they can get one back here, they may have a chance, but still no clear-cut shot for them. CeeLo now hitting it off into the corner. Icy, zero boost. Just hitting into the corner. Trio now cuts him off. Bump there from, from Icy. Awkward here from Beware. Icy does pick up the full boost. He's going to be full back in net. Trio passes it down to Icy, who's now looking for a one-on-two. Does get 50. Beware there, though. Pretty fast to make any quick work of what was going to be for MSU there. Uh, off the back, we're going to follow it, but Icy says, I got boost, I'll go. Yeah, 
Uh, 30 seconds left. Looking very unlikely for Mississippi State, but if they can get a goal back here, they, they do have a chance. Really awkward there. Whiff from Icy, but does hit off the crossbar, so no damage. Icy now trying to get the 50 out. Trio does get the 50. Trying to hit off the ceiling to Icy, but looking like Icy is very low on boost. Zero boost for him, but Beware is there for his fifth goal of the game. Fifth goal on eight shots, just taking over this game. Yeah, and again, Beware being in the right spot at the right time. Uh, just making sure to get the ball on target there because Icy made a lot of them very awkward there and low boost. Yeah, it's definitely... Beware just seems like he's there right when uh, Icy or Trio just gets past a player. He can just be right there for a very... Not easy shot, but I guess easy shot for his, for his skill level. Very, very good. Uh, CMU will be moving on to day two of the open qualifiers with a 5-1 win and a 2-0 scoring a score in the series against Mississippi State. GG's to them. <laughs> Looks like they had maybe the teams mixed up a little bit too there because yeah. they had Central under MSU there. Yeah. But um, yeah, very, very convincing win there in game two. Uh, game one was a little closer, but Beware kind of shined out there. And again, as we were talking about, they're respecting his mechanics, maybe a little too much. Yeah. Uh, expecting him to get to balls they maybe couldn't get to and faking him out. Yes, yes, definitely. So this will conclude our broadcast of uh, RLCS Day 1. Um, unfortunately, we will not have a stream for Day 2. If we do have a stream for Day 2, it will not be me. So ho hopefully they will find someone else that is able to do it. Um, if there is no stream uh, happening that day, uh, make sure to look at our Instagram and Twitter. Uh, it is in the description of this stream and the description of our YouTube. Um, just make sure you check that out to look for any score updates to see if we make it any further. Uh, JLAP, any final words that you want to say to the team? Uh, just fire up chips, baby. Great <laughs> wins today. Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you all for tuning in, and we will catch you all next time. Have a good one.